Hey, hi everyone. Uh, thanks for being there. Uh, today I'm presenting our work uh, called uh, Events to Video, Bringing Modern Computer Vision to Event Cameras. And this is joint work with some folks at Intel and uh, David Escaramuzza. So the question we try to answer in this work is, well, can we turn event data with all its qualities, and we've seen that before, uh, into a high quality video that would retain all these qualities? Uh, yeah. And the answer turns out to be yes. Uh, we've seen a couple of examples of this in previous talks already. Uh, the difference in this work is we try really to push for quality uh, instead of efficiency. So how can we do it? How did we do it? Uh, and what can we do when we have that? So our method is based on a recurrent neural network. Uh, so it's recurrent because it needs to maintain a state. Uh, this way it can reason about temporal dependencies of uh, event data. Uh, so what we do is uh, something that's been done quite a bit uh, into earlier works that you've seen this morning. Uh, we collect events into uh, small batches, as you can see here. And then we convert them into some representation that's suitable for a network. Uh, for example, a volumetric uh, voxel grid, as we've seen this morning. And then, uh, basically, this uh, tensor will be passed to the network, and the network will generate, in turn, some image reconstruction as well as a state update. So a crucial thing here is how do we get data? And of course, you could try to take one sensor that has both event data and frame-based data. Uh, but this wouldn't really work because, uh, well, frame-based uh, cameras suffer from all these problems in high dynamic range scenes and motion blur. Uh, so what we try to do instead is to learn everything in simulation. Uh, so we have this pretty efficient uh, simulator that's, by the way, open source, uh, that works basically in a 3D virtual world uh, on which we took uh, Microsoft Coco images and then we mapped them to textures uh, and then waved the camera, a virtual camera, and generated events this way. So this is uh, what the training data would look like. Uh, you can see on the top right, you can see synthetic events, and on the bottom right, the ground truth video uh, with high quality. And so we train everything in simulation, and then we basically try to plug directly the system into real event data. And to our surprise, it worked really well. And I'm now going to show some examples of this. So our first example is uh, high frame rate video. So as you've seen, event cameras have a very high temporal resolution, which means you can decompress the event stream into a video that has an arbitrarily high frame rate. And to push this thing, uh, what we decided to do is to take one object, uh, here a garden gnome basically, and then shoot it with a gun. So what you'll see is a bullet coming at uh, pretty much the speed of sound hitting the head of the gnome. On the left hand, uh, you will see pretty much state-of-the-art image sensor uh, operating at 240 frames per second, uh, which is a pretty strong baseline, and our reconstruction in this case at about 5,000 frames per second. So focus on the right image. So this is, yeah, in real time, everything happens quite fast. And now you're going to see uh, 100x slow-mo. And you can really capture like fine details that would basically be invisible uh, in the regular frame camera. Here's another example. Uh, this is popping a water balloon. Uh, so you have a person, Cedric, here, uh, and it's going to pop the water balloon with a needle here. So again, in real time, this looks like this. And if you look at it in slow-mo, uh, you can really see how the balloon membrane uh, breaks from the point where the needle hits and how the water keeps its shape uh, before it actually falls on the ground. So another interesting aspect of event cameras is their high dynamic range, right? Uh, so we also tried to see uh, how this would work uh, so in this example, it's kind of a you know, selfie example uh, where you have on the left uh, the events from uh, the Samsung DVS camera. That's uh, VGA resolution. And in the middle, you have our reconstruction. And on the right hand, uh, again, the same high quality camera. And here, what you can see is that the window behind is kind of very bright. Uh, and it's basically saturating in the phone camera, while the reconstructions uh, do not suffer from this problem. And besides, you know, when you're taking a selfie, you're always shaking a bit, uh, which generates motion blur. And because of the high, well, because of what event cameras are, we, we don't uh, suffer from this problem. 
And the last point I want to point out is that you know event sensors have come a long way and they are now very high quality. And at first glance, I, I bet most of you would not be able to say that the middle image is actually a, a reconstruction from events and not an actual image. Finally, this is a driving example uh, where we show again that when you drive out of a tunnel, uh, you can actually grasp also uh, the outside with an event camera. So now that we have the system that you know, can reconstruct such high quality videos from events, uh, what can we do with it? And in the paper that uh, well, we'll present this week at CVPR, we explored several options. And one thing we thought about was, well, can we use actually off the shelf computer vision to these reconstructions? And this is not saying you should do it. This is saying, what about if you were doing it? So here are a few examples. Uh, this is object detection on the Right side, you have uh, our reconstruction from events only, plus uh, YOLO, an object detector running. And here you see that out of the box, uh, without needing to train on event data, you get very high quality labels. So you can think, for example, of using this approach uh, to generate labeling data for uh, purely event-based processing. And this is a monocular def example, so again, in the middle, you have our reconstruction, and on the right side, uh, the output of a state-of-the-art monodef uh, algorithm. And again, from events only, we can get this highly uh, accurate uh, monocular def map without needing to explicitly train on event data. So in this way, we think there is a lot of value in transfer learning here. And finally, well, we've done a lot of uh, SLAM type of works in our lab, so we wanted to see whether we could also try to do some visual odometry from these reconstructions. Uh, and it turns out that this works uh, fairly well. Uh, in fact, it's pretty much on par with the best systems that uh, exist today uh, with purely event-based data. So this brings me to a few conclusions. Uh, now, videos reconstructed from events only can be on par with conventional cameras, uh, except that now you can do it with a very high frame rate and also a high dynamic range. One, I think, insightful and important lesson we learned is that, you know, even with a simple simulator, uh, sim to real transfer does work pretty much out of the box. And I think beyond image reconstruction, there's plenty of applications uh, for example, you could train spiking neural networks as well in simulation, pretty convinced that this would work. Uh, and we've seen some example this morning uh, of uh, object de detection that was learned uh, also in simulation. Finally, off-the-shelf uh, vision algorithms uh, can work very well in the reconstructions, so there might be also some interesting applications. Say, for example, you have your event camera. Uh, you don't want to spend a year developing something, and you want to see whether this could be useful for your application. Then you could use our reconstruction, try it out, and if it works, then you can maybe spend the time uh, developing uh, your custom solution that would be more efficient. Finally, event sensors are really getting mature. Uh, now we have sensors with very high resolution, like the Samsung DVS or the Celepixel that will be also uh, shown today. They have very high quality nowadays, so this gives me hope that you know, the field is going to grow even more and that we're going to see very exciting applications in the future. Uh, a couple of shameless uh, advertisements. Uh, there will be a live demo of the reconstruction system uh, at this workshop, uh, just at the coffee break. Uh, the reconstruction code and pre-trained models are available on our website if you want to try it out uh, on your own event data. If you don't have uh, event data sets, you can download some uh, from our webpage where we have many different data sets in different conditions. And finally, if you're interested in maybe learning from simulation, our event camera simulator uh, that was used to train the, the system is available on our website as well. Thank you very much.